So I got a message uh, through on my Instagram last night from uh, someone saying, actually, I'll, I'll bring it up. I'll read it out because that's probably going to be more relevant. I probably should actually respond to them. So the message was, um, you know, is staying at work a cost of not at a cost of not seeing your family or being at home with your family? You know, how's your private life and relationships going? So, um, actually, I'll answer it, and then that'll be easier. Hey, mate, uh, thanks for your message. The um, I think sometimes uh, people probably misinterpret what's going on in my life because I openly talk about business a lot on social but I never talk about my private life um, I've made it a conscious decision to not post photos of the kids and talk about what we're doing um, on the off chance that one day I'm famous which you know at this rate doesn't look like it's gonna happen um, and so sometimes people can think that I'm not spending time with them but you know for example last night I went back and helped the guys with stock take from something like 7 till 9 but I was home at 4, saw the kids, took my oldest son to basketball for an hour. It was just me and him. Um, so I get those those times in there. So I think it's really not, and this isn't directed at you, but it's for you and for anyone else. It's not anyone else's concern around how you manage your time. And I wouldn't try to measure yourself against societal expectations. Yeah, I wouldn't try and measure myself against like the expectations of society. Uh, just do whatever works for you and your partner and your children and your family and your friends and just communicate really well and that's what we do. You know, my wife and I obviously have a complicated schedule with the three kids and running the businesses, but, um, you know, we've got tools like Google Calendar, which we use to make sure that we tick those boxes. Um, the relationships in my private life are, are quite minimal. I don't spend a lot of time with people, but when I do spend time with people, it's good. Um, and then obviously the... the kids and, and wife um, would be if you were comparing to anyone you know up there with with I think the best um, it's more around quality than, than quantity and if we're if we're home with the kids then we're doing stuff with the kids <sighs> yeah so ultimately like I think sometimes people can get really caught up in making sure that their you know work-life balance is in check when you compare it to someone else's and it's not anyone else's like you, you're living your life so if you want um to, to work you know it's actually quite relevant i'm wearing jody's jumper seven effect like jody decided that she wanted to work um like not not work school holidays and work three days a week and still make a six-figure income and then you do that and that enabled her to spend more time with her son as he was going through school her, that goal might change like it's obviously he's out of school now and then you know she is able to double down on her business and start concentrating on building wealth for the future or whatever like it doesn't matter what you choose to do and what your like work life balance is as long as it's your choice and you're sticking to it and that it's um, something that you've you know you're openly communicating with the people around you and they know what's going on you know I was listening to a podcast um with Joe Rogan and Mr. Beast the other day and when he was younger all like for four years he effectively locked himself in a room with a bunch of other people and concentrated on YouTube he didn't see anyone else that made him happy didn't matter so as far as work-life balance goes there is no magic formula um, you don't need to compare yourself to the others in the world um, you just need to make sure that it works for you very interesting in the car with Clint today um, so uh, hopefully that's been of help to, to one of you that's worried that you're staying back at work too long or that maybe you've spent too much time at home and that, that work is uh, starting to suffer. Um, obviously, if you are employed, you might find that um, you do need to make sure you meet some minimums. But um, again, if you're communicating with the people around you and you're getting the results that are required from your employment, it might be fine. Thanks for tuning into In The Car With Clint today. Be kind to each other. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll talk to you tomorrow.